Sukma Indra is one of Brunei's oldest traditional woven textile design. The hallmark of Sukma Indra is its colorful floral motifs with from by films made with wool or silver In spite of being the oldest, it's still popular for its exquisite and fine quality. This is Royal Regalia Museum, it's the main tourist attraction spot in Brunei. This museum exhibits a selection of Royal Regalia for a ruling monarch from his childhood days up to the times of his coronation. To learn more about Brunei and the monarch's history, visit Royal Regalia Museum. The Tatok is a truly Bruneian go to delicacy. With just one Brunei daughter, you can get a bowl of rice, a fried chicken, and the most essential coconut, the sambal, or the soup. Yum! Back then, Chokar is a commonly played Malay traditional board game. It consists of seeds and board with poles known as kampung and rumah. To play, take all seeds from each kampung and drop one seed to each hole in clockwise motion. There are additional rules, but one, one with the most seeds, seeds wins! Brunei's Ulu Tumboro National Park covers 550 km square in Tumboro District. Here, you can enjoy the flora and fauna by hiking up the park and watch the panoramic view of the untouched heaven from the canopy walk. Although there are similar dishes across Southeast Asia, Cambodian style amok is famous for its use of freshwater fishes from Tundesa and the Mekong River. Blend it with a variety of spices and lemongrass, pour it in a banana leaf cup or coconut. It is a beautiful yet a romantic dish to enjoy. Kake is a 10th century temple of the former capital of Khmer Empire, located in the northern of Cambodia. Kake Temple main structure is a seven-step tire pyramid was constructed by the Khmer Emperor Chao Yawaraman IV. Renowned for its graceful hand gesture and stunning costumes, the Royal Ballet of Cambodia was a majestic dance for the royal families. This then is the ball of Queen Sisvatko's Martin Lots of Watana, and it was inspired to the musical her take this in 2003. Corporate a great art, known for its special features of its dynamic gentleness and its adaptability to life, deserved to be the inheritance of the four characteristic. Corporate was designated as a Cambodian natural animal by our favorite favorite Babylon Gang Sayano on March 2005. And the very reason would be that Corporate was first discovered in Cambodia. The last confirmed sighting of Fulbright are also in Cambodia in 1980. Rumdua was certified as Cambodian National Flowers in 2005 and it served as a symbol of environmental preservation. The fragrant smell combines with the earthy appearance represent the friendly and positive nature of Cambodian people. They look cheerful yet sophisticated once you get to know them. This is Komodo dragon. It is Indonesia's endemic animal which dominantly live in the southeast part of Indonesia, specifically in Komodo Island. Do you know that Komodo dragon is the world's largest lizard? Apart from that, it is currently Indonesia's national animal because of its status as endangered species. What I like about Raja Ampat is not only about its beauty but also its people because they are ready to welcome you warmly and so don't forget to come and see the beauty of Raja Ampat. Raja Ampat is an island's regency located in the province of West Papua. Comprising of hundreds of jungle-covered islands, Raja Ampat is known for its beaches, its coral reef, and its marine life. Manene is one of Indonesia rituals come from South Sulawesi to clean the body of ancestor who died for 100 years. This ritual begin by visiting a cemetery called Patane and change the clothes of the body. For Toraja people, Manene ritual is more than just cleaning up the body and putting a new clothes, but it's showing an unbroken relationship with the new family members, even though they have separated by that. Rendang is a traditional dish originating from West Sumatra. It is commonly made with beef and it is rich in spices. With its complex process that gives rendang a unique taste, rendang has been named as one of the most delicious foods in the world. Borobudur Temple, dating from the 8th and 9th centuries, is located in central Java. The walls of the last streets are decorated with fine low relief, covering a total surface area of 2,500 square meters. Around the secular platforms are 72 open works to pass. Each contains a statue of the Buddha. The monument was restored with the UNESCO's help in the 1970s. Sabahadi, here is Thai Luang Stupa, the most outstanding landmark of Laos. And of course, the family here in Laos. 
The National University of Lao is a place where students around the nation gather together to learn, grow, and approach to a bright future. For Lao food, I would like to recommend you Tiao Bong. So what is Tiao Bong? Tiao Bong is a creamy sauce which cooked in two ways, sweet or spicy, and it originates from Phuket. The northern Laos, it goes well with Kham Hieu. I'm made a woman that shirt a costume, I'm made from silk wool. It comes in different variety of colors. For men, we usually wear that shirt. For women, we wear that skirt because we wear this in a nice occasion. Thank, Thank you. you. Tonight, here is my traditional musical instrument which is made from bamboo. And the camp was also recognized as an intangible cultural quality of humanity by UNESCO since 2017. Datara Merdeka in Malaysia, also known as the Independence Square. So the Independence Square was famous historically because on the 30th of August 1957, the British flag was taken down and it was replaced by the Malaysian flag. Datara Merdeka is the venue for Malaysia's annual Merdeka Parade for Independence Day celebrations. National animal is Malaya Tiger. It symbolized bravery and strength to Malaysia. There are several Malaysian institutions that use tiger as a symbol, such as Maybank, Royal Malaysia Police Proton and Football Association of Malaysia. This is the Petronas Spring Tower and its height is 1,483 feet and it is also known as the tallest building in Malaysia. KLCC is the heart of Kuala Lumpur. KLCC is also the travel destination, including entertainment, commercial and business. This is our national flower, Bunga Raya. Each petal represents five of our national principles. Belief in God, loyalty to king and country, supremacy of the constitution, the rules of law, and good behavior. Jalo Gemila, literally meaning the stripes of glory, has four in alternating red and white stripes of equal width to represent equal status of 30 member states and federal territories. 14 points are to represent unity between the entities. Crescent represents our country official religion, which is Islam. Blue represents unity. Red represents bravery. White, holiness. And yellow, the royal color of Malay rulers. Traditional Nyaman clothing is one of the expressions of the Nyaman's cultural heritage. Families men wear lungi and daipo, and women wear inji and temi, and sometimes they don't show for formal occasions. The Naka is our cultural heritage. We have been using this for over 2000 years as medicine, skincare, cosmetics, and also a form of art. The Tongji Designer Festival, the festival takes place every year around the full moon day of the 8th month of the Burmese calendar. Joy, belonging, creativity, and excitement all form its significance. Do come to witness the real fire in the sky. Tilly slat, la petal, and let it mix of flavors and textures, typically Myanmar traditional day. Myanmar is one of the favorite breakfast dishes in Myanmar. It is made from round rice noodles served in humble based fish soup with the crunchy pith of banana. Bam is just one of the honesty, so just call Myanmar. Do you know Aung San Suu Kyi, the leader of Myanmar? And he is Bhutan, the very first non European General Secretary at the UN. Myanmar, Myanmar is quick and Myanmar is strong. Quick and strong debate, I think now. Inland Lake is the second largest freshwater lake in our country, Myanmar, and is located in southern Shan State. As shown in the picture, people travel by boat. People in Inland Lake do agriculture on floating islands in the lake. They also weave silk and fabric from lotus and produce clothes and robes. Hi everyone! In the last few weeks, the Philippines has really been affected by several typhoons, starting with Typhoon Kinta, next with the strongest tropical cyclone so far, Typhoon Rowi, and lastly with Typhoon Ulysses. And the devastation that these brought is really unimaginable. They have affected all aspects of living like shelter, livelihood, supply chain, and education. Various members of the youth have organized relief and donation drives, with youth organizations spearheading such initiatives, such as that of Youth on the One PH, East Co-ops, and Tulong Kabataan. At the same time, the youth remains critical in seeking accountability for this devastation. It is hand-in-hand -in, -hand in seeking accountability from our state 
whilst immersing with our fellow Filipino that the youth serve the people while seeking systemic nationalist change. Amitada Mechado Caldereta, three similar but completely different dishes. Ivan, can you tell me about these dishes? Well, while Afritada, Mechado, and Caldereta all use tomato sauce, Mechado uses tomato paste in addition, while Caldereta uses liver spread and interestingly cheese. Also, whilst all three uses potatoes and carrots, only Afritada uses bell peppers. Oh, thanks for that information, Ivan. No worries, Saira. Hi. One more interesting thing about the Philippines is our language. Just like our culture, our, the Filipino language is a melting pot of different languages from different areas of our country. So for example, we have Pungao, a word that is from Southern Luzon, which means I'm longing for you, and Padayon, which is from the Visayas region, which means to do something continuously. Due to the Philippines' colonial past, our language has evolved to incorporate a lot of words from the English and Spanish languages. So for example, from English, we have words like teacher, driver, computer. And from Spanish, we have words like lugar, gusto, trabajo. Pambabatok is an ancient tattooing technique that chiefly constitutes hand tapping to create designs in the skin. Batok means to hit, and it is believed to be at least a thousand-year-old intangible cultural heritage element. Hello, editor. Wait. Three, two, one. Pambabatok is an Asian tattooing technique that chiefly constitutes hand tapping to create figures on the skin. Batok means to hit and is said to be at least a thousand-year-old intangible cultural heritage element. The oldest Mamba Batok is Wang On, who is also the last linkage on her heritage that practices the art of Pambabatok. The two designs come from the symbols of nature and geometric figures significant to the Bubit tribe of Busculan and the Kalinga province. The Philippines celebrates the longest Christmas in the world. So Renzel, how long do we celebrate our Christmas? We Filipinos celebrate the warmest and the longest starting September 1. We call this Burmans. That's true! We celebrate Christmas for four months. Are you excited to see the lights, carols, and the parols? Yes, of course! Maligayang Pasko! Hi, I'm Elaine. And I'm JJ. We're representing Esplanade to you guys. Esplanade is a performing arts center located in the downtown area of Singapore. Esplanade regularly presents world-renowned companies and add to Singapore's cultural vibrancy. Esplanade is the most important durian in Singapore. In Singapore, cleanliness is seen as a factor of a strong economy. Singapore implements policies to ensure that the public follows strict hygiene and no littering rules. Some of the examples are that spitting in public, chewing gum, and not flushing toilets will all incur heavy fines and punishment. Singapore prides ourselves as a clean and green city. Even though we are surrounded by buildings, you will see greenery everywhere you go. In such a small country, we have over 2 million urban trees and over 350 parks and gardens. Hi everyone, this is Hainanese Chicken Rice. It's a dish of poached chicken and seasoned rice, served with chili sauce and usually with cucumber garnishes. It was this dish is created by immigrants from Hainan in southern China and adapted into the Hainanese dish called the Wonchang Chicken in Singapore. So this is actually our staple food in Singapore and I usually eat once a week. So do check it out. Singapore Laksa is a noodle dish with chicken prawns or fish served in a rich and spicy curry coconut milk broth or a sour asam broth. It is loved by the locals and we have our own famous homegrown katong laksa. Hi everyone, I'm Joey, and in Singapore we have four main races, Chinese, Malay, Indian, and the Eurasians. Hi everyone, in Singapore we have four main languages that we speak, and there is English, Malay, Chinese, and Tamil. What you are about to see is a typical Singaporean conversation. Hey Zhang Quan, how are you feeling? I'm feeling quite sian eh. Alamak, my exams are tomorrow, sia. Ayo, you got right Why are you such a blur so tong? 
Hey, I'm not blur lah. Just a few more days, then I can lepak. You'll be so shook. Sure, let's go eat some prata after that then. I know a hawker center we can go to. But must show the seat leh. Can, can. Steady lah. Food for the Kaskari is Tom Yam Kung with the traditional dish because of its sour, salty, and spicy flavor. Many unique and outstanding from other cuisines. Trim is the most important ingredient, just as you can see from the name Tom Yam Kung. Kung means trim. Songgan Fasuo is one of the most famous Fasuo in Thailand where water are used and paid as to celebrate the holiday. Songgan Festival also considered as Thailand New Year's which take place in April every year from 13 to 15. The national sport of Thailand is the art of eight limbs, more commonly known as Muay Thai. It's widely regarded as the most devastating and fierce martial art in and outside of the ring. One fact about Muay Thai, it is also called as the art of eight limbs for the eight parts of the body that are used for striking. Two hands, two legs, two elbows, and two knees. Tuk Tuk is a three wheel vehicle with a unique chair and a cute name. Once you ride Tuk Tuk, you will see a new experience. Funny! Architecturally fantastic, this temple complex is also the spiritual core of Thai Buddhism and the monarchy, symbolically united in what is the country's most holy image, the Emerald Buddha. The ground was consecrated in 1782, and this is the first year of the Bangkok rule. Moreover, this is the biggest tourist attraction in Bangkok and the pilgrimage destination for a devout Buddhist. Thank you. A famous destination in Vietnam is Halong Bay, with nearly 2,000 islands around. Especially it was recognized in one of the heritage sites. The children of the dragon and the grandchildren of the immortal tell the story about Vietnamese origins. From the tale, we know that all Vietnamese ethnics are family who share the same root, and Vietnamese are always proud of it. Hello, as you guys can see, I'm having a bowl of mm, what is it called? Yeah, it's fun. It's a highlight of Vietnamese culinary. It tastes amazing. If you have a chance to visit Vietnam, try it. In that holiday, we have many iconic activities such as buying flower, calligraphy, repairing traditional meal, and the lion dance. Lucky money is a little new cast wood in red envelope according to tradition, but it is for good luck and represent happiness. You can easily catch a glimpse of ladies with a delicate aoyai wherever you go, especially in high school. Aoyai is also very typical in every traditional wedding of the Vietnamese. The Korean alphabet known as Hangul was invented by King Sejong during the Korean dynasty. Its sophistication of 14 consonants and 10 vowels is internationally known, with itself being enlisted as UNESCO World Heritage. Blackpink is a K-pop girl group that is giving a rise to a new Hallyu wave and building a fan base all over the world. BTS, also known as Pangtan Songyeondan in Korea, is a K-pop boy band at the forefront of the Korean wave. The history of Hanbok can be traced back to the Three Kingdoms of Korea, which was between 57 BC to 668 AD. There are many variations in Hanbok depending on season, gender, and social status. Hanbok was also redesigned for the modern fashion, applying the traditional sources to shirts, dresses, skirts, and so on. Korea PC Bang, also known as Land Gaming Center, is a heaven for gamers around. South Korea is best known for its power in technology, with internet moving in lightning speed and free public Wi-Fi across the capital city, Seoul. Food delivery in previous heaven. Using applications like Pemin or Yogiu, meals and desserts are delivered. Some popular delivery food include fried chicken, jajangmyeon, musam, and tteokbokki.